Hosanna Music and Tom Brooks fans. So I've received a few messages regarding the most recent video on this uh, God is Able electric piano sound that you've just heard and um, a few people are wanting details of how it operates and which patches um, from which modules are used in this as layers to get the overall sound. So here's a little video just detailing a little bit more about how I believe this works. Um, since that video was released I've actually stumbled across a another patch from the expansion card SRJ V8001 pop by Roland which you'll hear shortly and um, personally I do think this is the missing ingredient to bring it very very much closer to what you hear on the, the original album um, this sound and the patches are available in the download link that existing customers have already received when they brought the full pack so um there'll be two new folders in there called contact god is able 2023 and sound font god is able 2023 the sound font folder also contains an aum file to enable you to instantly load the sounds with 10 instances of BS16i which is what I tend to use for sound fonts <coughs> excuse me with all the levels set correctly which really is critical to getting the, the sound right to be honest um, if you're looking to use this with any other sound font player I have actually detailed the approximate approximate levels of each patch in a, a readme file um, if there's any new customers looking for this sound and um, you'll find the link to the sounds in the video description um, and the other thing I meant to mention was that the contact files will only run in the full version of um, 2.5.5 and above, not the free player, unfortunately. Um, you have to pay a lot of money to get uh, your own library licensed. So the free player won't won't work for this. It, um, it'll only allow you to play them in demo mode for around 15 minutes, which isn't ideal. So let's get into it. So we've got nine or 10 sounds from three types of keyboard modules, as you can see here. Um, we've got the JD990 and um, within that, I do believe he probably loaded um, the SRJ V8001 and 03 expansion cards. He may have loaded them into a JV880, but I believe more than likely it would have been the 990 and I'll explain why in a bit. Um, scrolling down, we've got sounds from the TX802 modules um, and external DX, um, DX7 ROM card and also lastly the TG77. Now this sound operates on a velocity curve by where a different sound is coming into play at anything above uh, 90 around velocity 90 so velocity being how hard you hit the key um, and below velocity 90 level we have what I would call a bass level sound and that consists of in fact wait a minute I'm just going to uh, minimize each one of these sounds so we can see a bit clearer Give me one minute there we go so the bass sound what I'm calling the bass sound consists of um, Dyna Roads, which is off an external card, Pop Roads 1, Pop Roads 3, um, E Piano 4 from the DX7 ROM 1B. Um, you'll hear all these individually in a little bit. Um, the TX802 Full Tines and the TX802 Hard Tines. Um, and kind of underpinning those, which are all electric piano based, we've got um, the TX802 Whisper A and TG77 Itopia which gives us like a pad sound. Now bearing in mind that the TX802 only has a polyphony of around 16, I'm pretty sure it's 16. So this explains a lot more as to why he was running a, a stack of four units which would give him around 64 polyphony. Um, of which I would imagine it would be set up divided 
um, with different sounds on different modules. I think the most plausible way you will have done it will be to have um, two of the modules running full times, um, which um, would have given him 32 polyphony with two units running one sound. Um, I think he would have used one for the hard times and then the last one I think he probably combined Whisper A and the E Piano 4 which would give him only 8 polyphony but there is a reason for that which I've come to a conclusion with um, I think because E Piano 4 and Whisper A are not critical at having the maximum polyphony available they're, they're kind of more background sounds which add flavour whereas the full tines is a central core part of the sustained sound so he wants to um, he wants that to be as free as possible um, for the most part from what I understand um, now on each of these I've actually set the polyphony um, where have we got sorry yeah so that one's wrong so 24 polyphony that should really be 32 let's let's take that up to 32 so I've set these on what I believe um, yeah so that's 8 polyphony on the way I believe he would have set it up but obviously you can change these yourself as well um, so moving on to the Roland sounds um, this is the interesting part really we get Dyna Rhodes Pop Rhodes 1 and Pop Rhodes 3 um, and I think they will probably run on JD 990s the reason I say this is because of the JD 990s capability to bring patches in or drop them out again depending on the velocity level of the notes being played something referred to by them by Roland as um, velocity range in their manual uh, the Dyna Rhodes patch definitely decreases significantly in volume when it's played above around 90 so anything between 90 and 127 velocity is really significantly dropping in volume and then we get another sound coming in um, and that being the the midid grand which adds like a really brash harsh snappy sound when, when it's played loud so the result of all this is an incredibly expressive electronic piano sound from the the fat low velocities when he's playing it softly it's really fat um, and then the harsh brash high velocity sounds um, I have added one more sound in here which is currently muted as you can see the beauty roads um, from an, from the Roland expansion cards I think it's on both um, one and two um, so but I'll explain why that that's there in a moment and why it's muted now, the one thing that this whole setup doesn't have is the EQ that would have been applied to Tom sound by the mixing and mastering engineers or any effects units that he also used on the night or maybe post-production I think there is a certain frequency whether it be an exciter or something that causes some of the sounds to pop out a little bit more on their attack um, it just seems to pop out a little bit more but for the use of our sound here it should uh, it should be how it would sound for the most part live anyway without all the the post recording editing and EQ and effects so initially what I'm probably going to do is close all of these I've obviously altered that one close all of these and we're going to listen to each of the sounds individually um, so let's have a look what did we have let's start off with this um, piano 4 so if I play this a minute it's not really an electric piano sound it's something that I found on a card but it has an attack which I think you'll um, be able to hear in a minute this has been sampled directly from a from a TX802 um, and it's just got a snappy sound Okay, so that's that one next one I'm trying to remember these now because I've got so many patches here uh, let's go for the Dyna Rhodes now this one's got quite expressive on the top top range but that loud sound does drop out I've, I've tested it it does drop out the, the harder it hits it's still there but it really does does diminish massively in volume compared to the, the other patches 
it's a nice sound and I only found that one the other day next one we have got is um, Pop Roads 1 now that is definitely an integral part of this sound it's beautiful sorry I'm playing with one hand on a um, a Novation launch key 37 here which is like the worst key bed ever so excuse me I've got one hand on my mouse and my right <laughs> right hand on my keyboard so I'm literally just letting you hear the sound yeah pop roads three a little bit of a thicker sound similar thing but a bit thicker So we have the Itopia. So this just forms part of the pad sound in the background. Um, what else do we have? Um, full tines, we all know what that sounds like anyway. The key thing with the full tines really is to make sure you get the low velocities right because it's really fat when it's played. If I put the volume right up sounds very different at those velocities to what it does at those velocities it was brash and then almost barely we go uh, hard tines again this is giving a, um, a, a an attack which you can hear in the low velocities but then when it's played at high velocity it really opens up so for those stabs like what's that one um whisper a so that just forms part of the pad so if we put that and itopia oops sorry if we put that and itopia together put that on omni that on omni You get the pad sound that I believe um, was used on this sound. Um, I was previously probably faking it a little bit with ice ring. I thought it was ice ring, but the closer I've listened, the um, I, I really don't think it's that. I think it's Itopia and Whisper A. Um, I think that's all. Oh, one last one was the um, LA Midid Grand uh, JD 990. Um, however, on this, um, it is purely at high velocities. We all know what that sounds like anyway. So let's go back to the um, the sound itself. Um, so yeah, so here we have, let's minimize these again so we can see. Just touching back on the LA Midi Grand, I will show you I'll solo it so you can hear when it comes in. Uh, LA midi grand solo there. So obviously I'm pressing the key down, nothing's happening, but but all of a sudden as I get harder it kicks in. There we go. So then on the sound itself, you can hear it. You can actually see physically which sounds are coming in. So at low velocity, you've got those sounds, and then some of them diminish. get the midi grand coming in the one sound that we haven't mentioned yet is the uh, the beauty roads which um, comes off a srjv8003 um, and that sound on its own it sounds like this um, if I can get it to oh no we need to change the midi channel A little bit like the Pop Roads one, but a lot more glassy. Now the reason I've included that is because um, at the end of the sequence of The Battle is the Lord's when it goes into um, his eyes on the sparrow, um, the, the, the sound changes a little bit and this patch is brought in. So let's just listen to, if I can remember how to play it, um, the end of that section. 
Then here he brings in the beauty road. So yeah, that's why I've included that in there because um, it's a beautiful sound and he does use it. So yeah, it's just a beautiful, beautiful sound, truly the whole thing. And um, that's it, really. If you have all this in hardware in a uh, fridge freezer cabinet, now you know what it is, so knock yourself out. <laughs> you know how to get the sound, but for the rest of us mortals that don't have the hardware, here it is in contact and sound form format. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye.